Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. So this is our fourth video of our employee register application. So in this video, we will set up route for our application. Uh, so uh, so that user when user click on the add link, then it will show the add. And when user click on the list, then it will show the list. In our previous video, we have uh, created the component, the three components to define our uh, application. Now in this video, we will uh, uh, we will show this component when user click on the links so basically we are uh, in this video we will make this uh, uh, make this possible with the help of react router dome package so first we need to install react router dome package so what you need to do i will stop the server and i will run command npm install react router react router dom so this package will make our application single page application it means without re it means without re reloading the page it will load the data or load the component load the page without reloading the browser it will load the data from the component you can say npm install react router dom so uh, after running this command so this package will install in your system in your uh, application so um, after running this command we will run npm start and i will go to the my react.js folder and in the react.js folder here i have running the command uh, here i have running the application i will go to the source and first the first the file that we will open we will open the index.js file so here i will uh, open open the index.js file and uh, we are running the we are running our application now here what we will do here i will import import from react router dom so currently we have installed this package so i am going to uh, import the browse router browse router uh, uh, functionality from this package and i will wrap the app i will wrap the app component in this browse router with the browse router so the first thing we will do this so this is the first step so now what we will do now we will open our app.js file so now i need uh, more attention of you uh, more please uh, pay more attention on it so what we will do here i will copy this uh, import syntax and here i will so i am going to do when you uh, i am going to link this uh, uh, link this component uh, with the uh, with the help of a button or you can say anchor tag so when user click some specific tag or some specific button or link then it will show the component currently it is showing all the components but uh, we don't need all the component at a time so we are uh, so that we are doing the uh, we, are, we are doing routing so now come to the point so we are in app.js file and here what i will do switch i will import the switch uh, functionality and route functionality so what i will do here i will switch using i am using switch so and and here i will use route and in the route i will define component so let's remove this let's not mess the code so i will define the path here so i will define route and in this part in this path what i want to load i want to load list i want to load list component actually this syntax is wrong so i want to load list component and 
at the add path i want to load add component and i will define one more thing exact so exact means what will be our default component so our default component is list so that i have defined exact and now one thing more i want to define i want to define update so update will be particular update will be perform on particular employee so that I, I am going to define the id so this will be our query parameter uh, not query parameter you can say this will be our employee id so here i will define update so when user when user go uh, go to this path then uh, only this router will show and only this router will load the add component so that we are using switch so now what we will do here in the container i will define i will create the i will create the nav bar later but currently for the functionality i will define anchor i will define uh, let's define the simple anchor uh, not anchor we will define a link so here i will import one more thing link so in the link we will define link and in the link i will define list and here i will define two so two list and here to add and here let's say update so update and define the one so let's let's see this uh, it will be update and i will define the this packet uh, this line this pipeline so now when we uh, when you click on the add it will load the add employee component here you can see when we click on the list it will uh, it will uh, load the list employee when we click on the add it will load that uh, employee component and you can see it, it is also uh, changing the url so when we click on the add it will show the update component so we have routed our uh, we have routed our components with the help of react router dom so in our next video we will create our bootstrap uh, we will style our actually we will create our templates for list add and update and we perform the functionality so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe this channel like this video thank you thank you so much